Happy Monday, everyone. I am on my way to the gym right now, and it is a big week for me. First off, I haven't made a video in about nine weeks. I made a video one week after surgery, and this week, tomorrow actually, will mark 10 weeks post-operation, and on Wednesday, I'm going to see the doctor. When I go to see the doctor, he's either gonna give me good news that my foot is healing properly and that I'm gonna be able to start doing physical therapy. I haven't done any physical therapy yet. Uh, even though I've started walking, I still haven't started any physical therapy. So that's either gonna be the good news or I'm gonna get other news that, you know, I just need to wait a little bit longer and it needs more time to heal. But the good thing is, is my foot feels really good. For the first six weeks after surgery, I had no pressure on my foot. I was non-weight bearing. I was not walking at all. Week seven and eight, I was partial weight bearing. I was on crutches. I worked my way down to a single crutch, putting a little bit of pressure on my foot each day. And then after that, I went to full weight bearing. I was no longer on any crutches and that's been the past two weeks. So I'm making progress. I'm feeling stronger every day. Time to go hit the gym, get my first lift of the week on. All right, so my workout's done. I sweat a lot. I did a full back day, did some core, sat in the sauna, felt good. Time to go make a smoothie. I'm gonna make a smoothie and show you exactly what I put in it. Uh, and it's honestly not that exciting. Start with two cubes of ice. Next, uh, we're gonna put some of the Aldi brand, I think it's Aldi brand, I don't know, the cheapest berries I could get in the freezer section. Next up, we got the almond milk from Trader Joe's, I believe. Again, not too sure, I just use what we have in our fridge. Next up, we got the protein powder, whey protein from Animal. Um, I'm using this because it tastes great and I did a collaboration with them on TikTok a few months ago. It's a four pound tub. This thing has lasted me many, many months. Um, but yeah. Next up, a little bit of honey, because uh, honey tastes good. And then we'll top it all off with a little bit of peanut butter, not much, just a little bit. You know, I probably should do exact measurements because sometimes it's super thick and then other times it is really runny, but I can't be bothered. Bone the toot. I make this same exact smoothie after every workout because um, a lot of times I don't just want to eat like a full meal, but I still need to get my protein in and some sugars and whatnot from the fruit. So. This is what I go with. It's easy. Tastes great. Buenos dias, amigos. It is Tuesday. Yesterday, I did a back day. Today, I think I'm doing a leg day. My wife actually writes my workouts, and she's writing this morning's workout as we speak. So I don't know what today's going to be, but tomorrow I see the doctor. We get an update on the foot, and then hopefully after that appointment's when the real work begins. Hopefully, I'll be able to start physical therapy. But I think today I'm hitting legs, so nothing like being sore before going to see the doctor. <laughs> Bro, that workout was hard. First time actually working out my right leg since surgery, so oh, I wasn't even on camera. Uh, yeah, I'm gassed. Smoothie time. Ready to go. Let's get it. Ended up being a better consistency than yesterday, uh, but no idea what I did different. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Wednesday is typically not my day off, but I'm extremely sore from the past few days of working out. So, slept in this morning, taking the day off working out, seeing the doctor later today. This is what I eat for breakfast every morning. It's the same thing every single morning. We got an almost everything bagel from Trader Joe's, three eggs and a slice of pepper jack cheese in there. And of course, we've got the coffee going. Buenos dias, it is Thursday. You're probably wondering, Steele, why didn't you update us about your doctor's appointment yesterday? Uh, and I just simply forgot to film, but here's the news from the doctor. Good news, the foot is healing perfectly. It's healing exactly as it should. So 
Yesterday, I got the clearance to start biking in a boot. I still have a few weeks before I can start physical therapy, which is kind of frustrating, but I understand we want it to be 100% healed before I start doing anything. But I will start walking out of the boot in less than a week, and I started biking yesterday. So I had a 25 minute bike yesterday. I guess 20 minutes is what my watch showed because it paused the first five to six minutes. Just finished a 30 minute bike right now this morning on Thursday. It is Saturday, which means the week is pretty much over. Um, I'm not really working out today. I just did a 30 minute walk, nothing crazy, just to loosen my legs up. I'm really sore from yesterday's leg workout, even though it was fairly light compared to earlier in this week, but you know, I'm still getting back into it. I'm just happy I can walk, check that out. Next week's video is gonna show me walking without a boot on. I'm so stoked. Tuesday next week, I can stop wearing the boot, start wearing a shoe. So we're making progress. This week has been about progress. It's been good news from the doctor. I appreciate you guys watching. As I heal up more, I'm excited to do more activities, more training, more physical therapy, film more of it, and just document this journey again. So appreciate y'all being here with me, uh, and I will see you guys in the next video, which will be next week, because I'm gonna do one of these a week. Keep it manageable uh, so I can stay on schedule. Peace!